There's a certain fire in the belly of Hungary, a warmth that goes beyond simple hospitality. It's in the hearty stews, the paprika laced dishes, and of course, in the potent embrace of palinka. Now I've traveled the world, shared countless toasts and sampled spirits that would make a sailor blush, but there's something different about palinka. Maybe it's the way it's offered, with a twinkle in the eye and a firm insistence that you try just a little one. Maybe it's the stories that flow as freely as the drink itself, tales passed down through generations, each sip a toast to the past, or maybe, just maybe, it's the women. You see, in Hungary, palinka isn't just a man's drink. It's woven into the fabric of life, enjoyed by grandmothers and granddaughters alike. It's the drink offered to welcome you into a home, to celebrate a milestone, or simply to take the edge off a chilly evening. And let me tell you, those Hungarian grandmothers, they can hold their palinka with the best of them. Now, pinning down the exact origins of palinka is a bit like trying to catch a runaway piglet. There are whispers and legends, tales passed down through generations of distillers, each adding their own twist to the story. Some say it all started with the ancient Hungarians, brewing potent concoctions from fermented fruits as early as the 10th century. Others point to the royal court of King Charles I in the 14th century, where a spirit distilled from plums was said to be the king's cure for gout. Whether it was royalty seeking relief or farmers making the most of a bountiful harvest, one thing's for sure. Palinka has been warming hearts and fueling stories in Hungary for centuries. It's a spirit steeped in tradition, a taste of history distilled into every drop. So, what exactly is this magical elixir, this palinka that's captured the hearts and stomachs of Hungarians for generations? Put simply, palinka is a fruit brandy, but that description doesn't quite do it justice. It's the lifeblood of the orchard, the essence of ripe plums, apricots, pears or cherries captured in liquid form. The process is as simple as it is ancient. Ripe fruits are gathered, crushed, and left to ferment naturally, their sugars transforming into potent alcohol. Then comes the magic of distillation, the fermented mash gently heated in copper stills, the alcohol vaporizing and condensing into that clear, fiery liquid. No fancy flavorings, no artificial additives, just pure, unadulterated fruit transformed by time and tradition into a spirit that's as Hungarian as the Danube itself. Now, just like every region has its own dialect, its own songs and stories, so too does Palinka have its regional variations. Travel through the rolling hills of Zatmar and you might encounter a plum Palinka, strong and earthy, a true reflection of the people and the land. Venture south to Kekskemet, the heart of apricot country, and prepare yourself for Barak Palinka, known for its delicate floral aroma and smooth finish. But it's not just about the fruit. Each region has its own traditions, its own secrets passed down through generations of distillers. Some swear by double distillation, others by aging in oak barrels. Some prefer their palinka ice cold, while others insist it be warmed in the hands, the heat releasing its full aroma and flavor. If you enjoy the information and history of illicit substances and their origins, and would like to see more, don't forget to hit the like and tap that subscribe button so we can see you in the next video. Thanks again.